Hey guys, how's it going? Chris here with AC and I'm back at Nassau Berry Farm to give you another update on Fiesta Village as well as construction going on on Montezuma's Revenge. Uh, I just took a ride on Silver Bullet and uh, there's a lot of work going on down below. Uh, however, it does look like Fiesta Village is completely closed. Uh, with that said, uh, I'm going to still do my best to get some footage for you guys. And um, they're painting um, Jaguar Station right now. They're painting Salspin. So um, yeah, uh, let, let's go take a look at everything. So yeah, I'm up here at the top of the uh, exit for Silver Bullet, and uh, looking in the distance, you can see all the work they're doing, uh, where the restaurant's gonna be, where they put that extension on. Um, and then uh, right here we have uh, one of the other uh, food locations. It was all painted purple before, and now it has that nice uh, kind of um, off-white color to it. Uh, the, uh, the carousel, it looks like it's completely uh, finished, at least from this side. And then really cool, uh, Salspin, like I said, uh, is getting some paint. Uh, and then just beyond that, uh, there's uh, workers on uh, the Jaguar station. Over here at Montezuma's Revenge now, and it is looking very much the same. Got all these tarps up along the launch track. Um, station there in the distance. Everything is gutted as it was uh, for the past few months now. Uh, but what is nice and what I pointed out earlier is how they're painting the Jaguar station. They got scaffolding up there uh, Workers are I don't know they went to lunch or something, but uh, yeah, so they're they're finishing that off and uh, uh, There's silver bullet going up, um, but yeah, uh, this is uh, This is how it looks here over at Montezuma's Revenge uh, pretty much the same uh, I'm gonna head over now and uh, take a peek in Fiesta Village, see what I can get uh, from the closed off area. So I'm back here on this side of Fiesta Village and uh, employee over there uh, that I believe I had a problem with before. She just said that she's going to call security on me even though I told her I've already had clearance from guest relations and security. Uh, anyway, as we come up on uh, Fiesta Village here, uh, they've uh, installed a new sign which looks really, really nice. And uh, it's kind of. I'm not gonna stop recording, and you can call security. Yes, I am. Just okay. So yeah, as I suspected, Fiesta Village is closed off from this side. Uh, but really cool is they have a new Fiesta Village sign, and uh, La Revolution. If I can kind of peek through the trees here, uh, they kind of got the uh, design uh, on the ride now, where they they've started uh, applying that. Looks really really good. Uh, goes along with what the concept art looked like and uh, yeah, I really can't see too much more from this vantage point, but uh, a Lot of work going on in Fiesta Village, and I really can't wait for this to open. Okay I'm gonna go check out another spot now And then over here where you would enter Fiesta Village from the boardwalk area. Uh, they mean serious business It's completely closed off with a wall. How about that? But yeah, as I zoom in here, you can see how they are uh, finishing off all the uh, the plaster work there on the exterior of the arcade building, uh, which is going to be the restaurant. And then there's this guy up on the roof, and it looks like he's uh, doing some work on the new uh, uh, HVAC system uh, for the heating and the cooling. And then just beyond that, another look at all the painting going on on the Jaguar station. It's looking really, really nice. Wow. And in other news, the Timber Mountain Log Ride is currently down for a refurbishment, uh, which uh, it needs, but um, you know, it's starting to warm up. Anyway, here's that. Um, it's a pretty light day here today. Uh, I'm gonna go through Boardwalk and uh, see what's going on over there. Just got the stage that they use uh, for their shows. Uh, Boys and Berry Festival is only going on on the weekends right now uh, until May 7th and I'll be back on the 7th uh, to check that out uh, one more time. Just couldn't get here on the weekends uh, anytime recently. Uh, yeah, I love all these decorations. So pretty here at Knott's. Also being refurbished is the Pacific Scrambler right here. Um, and uh, what's kind of a fun fact about this is that it originally operated inside a building right around over here uh, as Whirlpool. Uh, and then when they redid this area for Perilous Plunge, it was moved over underneath where uh, Accelerator is now. It was Windjammer, so it was underneath there. 
and then when Windjammer was removed, it was put in storage for a little bit, and then it was moved all the way over to the other side where Pony Express is now. When they built Pony Express, it was moved back uh, over here eventually when they removed Perilous Plunge, uh, almost in the same spot. Uh, this is actually where they had like the dolphin show and whatnot. They had a, a thing there. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of, it's made a full circle. It's kind of cool. Anyway, just a little bit of uh, info on that. Uh, gonna go continue uh, through here and see what else is going on. And then there's this area over here by the games that's walled off. Uh, they had like the notch radio thing that was going on here and uh, and stuff um but uh, i don't know what they're doing it, it let's see uh yeah it's just it's walled off and they haven't really done any work in there since i last checked which was at least a month ago um and then of course accelerator still closed no update on that and even though the full boysenberry festival is not going on they still have all these stands here with the uh the local arts and crafts um, for sale and whatnot. Uh, so that's really neat to see. I was not expecting that. And then just around the corner here, they have a Knott's Berry Farm stand uh, where you can buy your own boysenberry plant. So that's really cool. Love it. Okay, so it's been a couple hours since I first started the vlog over here and I was uh, looking at the Jaguar station getting painted. Uh, now the workers have uh, moved over to this side. They've gotten a lot done. It looks really, really good. Um, and you might be thinking it looks really bright. However, they will age it. Um, as I just pan down over here and uh, you can see over there where they did some painting before and it's been weathered and it looks like it's always been there. Uh, so yeah, they got this whole side to do, the whole back side and, and, and the side uh, here on the left um, to paint. But yeah, it's coming along. It's looking really, really good. And I'm over here at the Knott's Hotel now uh, where they've done a lot of demolition on the exterior. This is looking at uh, where the front entrance is. Uh, they've removed the canopy that goes over that driveway uh, at the front entrance. Uh, they've also ripped out the entire wall where Amber Waves was. Uh, so yeah, they're they're doing a lot of work here and I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm going to uh, Cut to the concept art uh, from this angle and you can get an idea of what this is going to look like and Yeah, it it's gonna be a little bit different and uh, looks really nice It's a much much needed uh, refresh for this Knott's Berry Farm Hotel Okay guys, that's gonna do it from Knott's Berry Farm. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I'll be back here in a couple weeks until then, have a good one. Bye.